out of three falls, 30 minute time limit. This is for the American Tag Team title. First of all, on my left, the challenging team with a combined weight of nearly 473 pounds, Mr. Buck Rock and Roll Zoom Hall and Iceman King Parson. And the current American Tag Team Champions, representing General Akbar and Devastation Incorporated, the Irwin Brothers, Wild Bill Irwin and Scott Hogg Irwin. The referee is David Manning. David Manning is trying to officiate this as we see the magnificent Irwin Brothers and the American Tag Team title bout against Zoom off on the ice, man, and the fans here shouting Chauncey. Let's go, let's go! The whip's in hand. The ice man got hurt pretty bad the other night. American Tag Team title bout tonight. He says he has hurt his knee, but he must show evidence that he has hurt his knee before, the, before we can allow that to happen. You want to see it, eh? Well, David Manning says if the knee's hurt, I want to see it. What is this here? Pictures in that knee there. Zoom off once the bell. Let's see what happens. David Manning going over things with Akbar, the general of the defending champion. Wild Bill cracking that whip. And what will happen? can see it perhaps here, the now that going on here, a lot of confusion. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention just for a second? Scott Irwin has 20-something stitches in his knee, which he's just proved. Akbar's trying to say he's not going to put the titles up. Iceman and Buck Zumoff have come up with a solution that I will go for. Since he can't wrestle, they've decided Iceman will wrestle Bill Irwin, and the winner of the match will be the champion. Well, the fans seem to like that idea. Uh, you can't put up here one of one. This is tag competition, not singles. You can't do it, Benny. All right. No! You've got two choices. They're here to go after the American Tag Team Championship. Your men are here to wrestle. Either we go one-on-one, -on -one, or if he can't wrestle, you forfeit. Agbar throwing the cigar down in anger. The bell sounded. And I don't know if Akbar has made his decision. Irwin with a whip. Iceman has felt that before. Irwin. Oh, he's going to get somebody. Well, that whip. And Channing Chauncey. The bell sounds, here we go. Irwin still with a whip and hat and bandana. Scott Irwin with a knee and stitches. Always a dangerous area for an injury, as any athlete knows. He's outside with Akbar. David Manning wants a house line. Akbar, if he's hurt and he can't wrestle, he's got no business out here. He can go to the back. Hey, David Manning now really has the crowd roaring as he wants Hulk Irwin out of here. Chuck Irwin against the ice 
fan. The team that have had so many problems. Bouncy versus Ice. Zim off out of here and says if I can't stay he can't either. Here's Ice Man in. Then of course if Zim off stays that makes things even because Akbar's out of here. Here's the house mic again to Manny. All right, listen up. This is the last time, Akbar. I am the official in the ring. Either everybody goes to the back except for the two opponents. If you stay, he can stay, but he's not staying. Settle. Well, there's not much Akbar can do. He can either stay with Zim off or... I didn't hear that. Irwin with a drive of the ice by the ropes, and this is really gonna be about two, three cars, put him in a time limit. American tag belts on the line, even though it's one-on-one. -on -one. Iceman against Chelsea Irwin. Drive by the Iceman in the midsection. Holy cow! Feet. Here's a count of just one, and look at Irwin throw the Iceman away. Irwin, the roughhouser from Duluth, Minnesota, formerly known as Super Destroyer number two. He and the Iceman have had problems, especially bad problems in recent weeks. Chauncey throwing him off. Well, I know you enjoyed the video presentation last week. I have to give credit to Michael Hayes and the three words. Michael Hayes, the writer of the song. Adrian Cummings, the producer. Jimmy Papa, the executive producer. Of course, it was all directed by Danny Bynum. Iceman will take Irwin over and locks him up with a hand. Listen to this crowd. A big one tonight. Summertime is here. You need to be on Annie each week. pole bow for the winner to be the world title one of the many highlight main events from the convention center Jim Hoff getting the crowd the chant behind him a pole will be strapped to one of the ring poles 18 men will be in the ring they will fight each other and try to eliminate each other by several means such as throwing each other out of the ring they try to climb the pole when they get a chance and try to pull that check off. Whoever grabs the check gets the money and a shot in the world battle. 18 men. Can you imagine what that ring will look like when the bell sounds? Well, Billy, with a five-minute call as Irwin drop kicks the Iceman away. Now he drop kicks nothing and it's hard. Rick Flair, speechless after learning that Perry might win that pole box. And I have to admit, here's that abdominal stretch for the Iceman. Irwin stretched out. And I have to admit that I was shocked to find out that the return clause no longer exists. Just 
Which goes to two. Zumhoff yelling at Akbar. Zumhoff, as you've seen in the ring, is just constant energy. There's the music box. Iceman drags Irwin out to the center. Akbar is certainly disposed of not only Zumhoff, but also that music box. To the ropes, no, oh, the Iceman stops and continues the headlock. Don't forget our feature, Kevin and Hayes with Khan on the scene. He's yet to come. With both men on their feet, and Zuboff continuing to yell. Elbow. the drive. Oh, it touches. I smell the election through. Two. And not by three. Everyone thought he had him in the first ball. Whenever this ball does not win the bout. Penalty box bout in Dallas. And that is going to be a great one. I can uh, just imagine how carefully Garvin is going to try to obey the rules to keep from getting in that penalty box because when he does, he is such easy prey for Stella May, providing that she can get through the building securely. Atomic drop of the ice man cuts right back off the rope. Ice man gets his drop kicks him away, hitting the shoulder. A drop kick away to the shoulder and head. And as the ice man locks Irwin up, Zim off his most pleased. shot there of Zimhoff and the action in front of him and Akbar in the foreground background thank you Jim box right over the top of the head on somebody. I think it was one of the destroyers. Nope, Terry Gordy again, Jim Lund to the rescue. Where would I be without you, Jim? The great athletes have the coaches. The wrestling announcers have their directors. Harry Carey has Arnie Harris. Nice man. 
Holds Irwin to his feet. Nice bad falls head first. Like a belly buster in the swimming pool, he hit straight down. To the eyes he goes. Over the rope he pulled that head, burning the forehead. Talking to you folks in Tatum here in just a moment. About your card coming up. Irwin with another right. Continuing to punish the Iceman. There's an elbow and down. One, two, and a kick out. 15 minutes gone, Irwin for the rope, Iceman there, slams him down. To the corner. Iceman waiting for the right time. Instead, bounces off the ring and hits him with a headbutt. And gets the count of three. in 15 minutes and 70 seconds. Iceman King Parsons. Iceman wins the first fall. We'll be back for more in a minute. Second fall action now. and zoom hop. headbutt winning fall number one. Remember now, if you've just joined us, Scott Hall Gerwin unable to go in this bout for the American Tag Team title with a serious knee injury, which has required more than 20 stitches. So as a result, it is now Iceman versus Wild Bill, and the winner will claim the title for his team. Big feature coming up. It's a good one. Give you an idea of the kind of things that have been going on between the Von Erichs and Killer Khan. Irwin with a drive. Irwin falling. Nice man there. One, two. Hey, 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 boys got it. Hey, boys 
got him by the ears, hauling him down the court, getting stopped. Turn out there with a the jukebox, and that breaks out of quickly. But now Irwin's got him. But the ice man now comes back. He blocks turns and the Duluth Minnesota Irwin stop is there. Here's the pin. Coliseum, this is championship court. All Ball number three, winner of the ball wins about. Akbar is taking a spot here in front of me. Sounds like Zumov's got that music playing over there. Zimov has been the cheerleader here. Irwin winning call two. Iceman winning call one. Akbar interfering in fall two. Captain Frank Dusik for so long. Developed many skills. To go along with that basic rough house ability. This is inherent. And Akbar is every bit as proud of his magnificent Irwin brothers as he was the Super Destroyer. So did Zimhoff. Irwin carefully planning it where the referee screened out. trying to tell us that there are three minutes left but they were having microphone trouble there are 
less than three minutes remaining now in the bout. Hurling Iceman with a chop. Iceman again knocks Irwin away. Tremendous left. Here's the pin. Could be now. An unusually long collision main event. Akbar has grabbed the bell ringer. And Akbar has sounded the bell. Akbar saw his man about to go down and sounded the bell. claiming innocence. This bout is still going. Akbar back in. Now he's going out after him. David Manning going down the aisle. What's going to happen next? Well, Akbar claiming innocence for all this. He went over in front of Joe Ranelli and grabbed that steel spike and rang the bell himself. Grimhoff wants the belt. David Manning has disappeared. Here's David Manning back. says there's a minute and a half left in this bout. Akbar rang the bell. Who's going to take the bell? All right, let me get the interview mic ready and let David explain this. Here's the mic. I have never been in this predicament before. Akbar rang the bell. There's officially a minute and a half left in this match. At this time, the house mic is not working to explain to the people. I'm taking these belts with me like and find out what's going to happen. The word from the boss, David Manning, we got to get out of here. We'll be back and work this out in a minute.